Twilight or Vampire Biting? Well, as you know, there's been a series of shows, Twilight, True Blood, that have uh, created vampire-type characters who live off the blood of other humans. And obviously part of the show is just like the uh, Dracula story. They bite, you bite, someone gets bitten and they get their blood sucked and then they in turn also become a vampire. So the kids, for a kick, will bite each other. And the idea is to be able to try as best as you can to leave a, what they see on television, a vampire-like bite, almost like fangs going in. And so it takes, sometimes it can take several tries till you get it right. If you find a kid maybe is doing this, you as a child psychologist, what would you recommend? I'd recommend the parent sit down, and this is always crucial, in a non-judgmental, non-attacking way, expressing concern, nothing but concern, as to you've seen, you see bite marks on their their neck. Now, in the old days, you might have thought it was a hickey. This is way beyond the hickey. And you say to them, you're concerned, and you tell me what's going to happen. You're not going to be punished. You're not going to be yelled at. What's going on? There's some medical issues with it because the biting at the person's mouth is contained with some kind of organism. You could spread it. And the other thing, it's an open wound. And we have staff living in noses, MRSA, and it can evade the bite. I've seen that a couple of times in my practice. So it's not such a benign condition as people no. think it is. Mm-hmm. And if that person was doing drugs that bit you, there's a chance that they had a little blood. Maybe it could possibly spread something they have in their bloodstream because it's an open wound. Open wounds are, are, an opening to many things we don't want. 